Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Alex Thomas here back with another video for you guys. Today I'm giving you guys my review and my thoughts on MTV's Teen Wolf Season 1. Uh, it came out in 2011. It was like MTV's type thing trying to do like the, the teen drama based off of around like mythical creatures and fantasy and stuff like that. Um, it stars Tyler Posey, Crystal Reed, I think that's her name, Dylan O'Brien. Um, and, you know, it's basically about, you know, a teenager who gets bit by a werewolf and he try to, you know, he goes throughout his, you know, high school life of dealing with being a werewolf. And uh, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and my, you know, my my thoughts on the series because the movie is coming out at the end of this month. And I probably will be doing a review for the movie. I did a couple trailer reactions for the tra for the movie that's coming out. And I'm um, like, check, check that out if you guys haven't already. And um, I just wanted to talk about this series because I love this show. I'm going through the rewatch right now again, prepare for this the movie. And I just wanted to review it and talk about it because I wanted to. So hope you guys are ready for this. If you guys enjoy videos like this, you guys enjoy trailer reaction reviews, watch alongs, physical media, all that type of stuff. You're in the right place. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. And let's get into this review, you guys. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, you guys, this is MTV Teen Wolf Season 1. Um, basically, this, this show is based is loosely based off the 1985 film starring Michael J. Fox, where he finds out he's born of a werewolf, and he uses his abilities to be really good at basketball and become the cool guy. And, you know, everyone loves him and all that stuff. Now, the difference between this show is that they kind of take more of a darker tone, more serious tone with the whole idea that, obviously, the kid get bit by a werewolf, it's not all roses and dandies, dab dandelions and stuff like that. It's some consequences and precautions that he has to take to be a werewolf. And um, I really like the way the angle they take with that, with this show. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get it right off the bat. Um, this show, I love it to death, but it is pretty corny at certain moments and it's kind of cheesy in certain moments as well. But I love it. I mean, it's a teen drama of, you know, it came on MTV at the time. And this was a time where a lot of shows was coming out. You had Walking Dead, you know, you had Twilight just now, you know, killing in the game. You have all these shows like Vampire Diaries and all this stuff coming out. So, of course, MTV wanted to, you know, go and mix into that genre. And they when they came out with Teen Wolf. Right off the bat, like I said, this, this, this uh, show is about... Um, Scott McCall uh, and his buddy Styles, they go into the woods and they all his they find Styles find out there's a dead body in the woods and they want to go find it and um, you know they get split up and you know Scott uh, you know finds out well he gets encountered by a werewolf and he gets bit and you know basically throughout this entire show he has to deal with being a werewolf. And I loved it. I loved it. All, all, all the aspects of it. I love the transformation um, of him becoming a werewolf. Um, I love that he has to deal with werewolf hunters and, you know, dealing with he, the, the girl that he likes, his best friend, kind of loving and hating that he's becoming a werewolf um, and stuff like that. I do like all the aspects of this show. Um, Rob, Tyler Posey as Scott McCall, he's pretty good. Um, you know, he's your run-of-the-mill teenager, you know, dealing with the trauma of becoming a werewolf. And I think he's pretty good in the role. Uh, but the one character that steals the show, and that is Styles, Dylan O'Brien as Styles, fucking nails it as this character. He kills it throughout the entire series. Um, he's so charismatic. He's, he, he's very funny. Um, his, you know, his dialogue and his, you know, his, his keen eye for comedy is spot on. I think the way they wrote his character was it was a great companion between Scott because Scott is more of the serious character and Styles is more of the comic relief, you know, trying to keep everything up the float type character. And I really do like that as well. We got a new ad character into a uh, new uh, new girl into the sh uh, the school. Her name is Allison, and Scott is becoming a liking of Allison, and you know, basically him. You know, be, now he's become a werewolf. He's very, uh, you know, he has to deal with whether or not he can be with this girl because of his heightened abilities. And, you know, if him becoming a werewolf and, you know, trying most, you know, thinking he's going to kill her and stuff like that. I do like all that as well. It is pretty corny. Like, I think some of the relationship stuff 
it's pretty, you know, teen drama esque. You know, it's it it is really on the nose with some of the teen drama bullshit. And um, you know, I, I like it though. Like I said, it's it's just, you know, it's your run of the mill MTV teen drama bullshit, uh, which I do like. And with the pilot, uh, you know, Scott has to deal with a lot in this in this episode. He fucking has to, you know, he becomes he finds out he's a werewolf. He gets attacked by hunters. And at the end of the episode, he finds out that the main hunter is his is the girl that he likes father. So, you know, you got a lot of drama mixed in with that as well, with him trying to dodge the hunters and also being with the girl that, you know, is of is of the of the hunters and stuff like that. And, you know, it's 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 it's, it's all fun, all fun, man. Um, we got one of my other favorite characters. We got Derek. He is the one that's kind of like, you know, trying to teach Scott how to become a werewolf and how, you know, he has to you know not care about the relationship stuff because at the end of the day it's not going to matter you know you, you know you, you, you're going to end up hurting her or you know it's not going to end well because she's a fa- she, her family are hunters you know and i do all i like that angle as well you know it's, it it really stirs up the drama and um i think they do a pretty good job with that um i love the way the show looks the show has a certain style to it that I think once you watch it, you know what they have. Um, they get more better within the other seasons. I think season one and two have the same type feel to it. I think season two does certain things a little better in the way it looks and stylized. Um, season three, they kind of really go off the rails with the way it looks and stylized and stuff like that, which with the action sequences and the wolf wolfing out and stuff like that, which I do like in the later seasons. Um, but you know, I think this first season is a great stepping ground for what's to come you know it sets it sets the tone it kind of sets the the lore and the boundaries of what this world can bring and i do like what they do with that as well um getting into the hunter side of it i love that the hunters are like the the antagonists but they're like pro antagonists because at the end of the day they think they're the good guys because they're because the werewolves are predators you know they're out here hurting and killing people so at the end of the day they're kind of doing the right thing but for our characters they're he, they're kind of like the villainous as characters now the main story with this first season is that scott got bit by the this thing they called the alpha and Derek and Scott are trying to figure out wh- who is the alpha and why is the alpha out here killing all these, all, all these, you know, all these random people and stuff like that. And um, you know, I, it's, it's kind of like a who done it type mystery, which I do like that angle. And like I'm, so I'm gonna go into little minor spoilers with this right here because we find out that Peter, who is Derek's uncle, we find out he is the alpha. And I love the way Peter is portrayed in this season. He kind of, you know, they kind of change his character up with the later seasons. But with this season, I freaking love the way he's portrayed. You know, he's very maniacal. He's very smart. He's very witty. And, you know, he has a certain, you know, you know plot that he, he he's doing. And it's, it's, it's very, you know, methodical. And he's, he's very menacing as a character. And he's, it's very fun watching the actor playing Peter you know the way he you know talks to scott the way he's you know manipulating scott is this is is a is a pretty uh, he's a pretty good villain in this first season now his special effects for his alpha form it's a little it is definitely dated it's definitely mtv style cgi it's not very good but i like it you know like i said it's it's over the topness when it comes to this show now like i said with this tone i think it works it works like i said once you the one thing I can say is you going into the show, don't expect Oscar worthy performances. Don't expect like the most groundbreaking story, you know, just go in and have fun. And, you know, you're going to get, you know, some, some gruesome, it's, it's pretty graphic. And I, that's one thing I love about this show as well. And, um, overall, I do like the story. I do like the characters. Now, now two characters that I really don't like in the show, but I think that's the point. And that is Jackson and Lydia. They're like the, you know, the, the popular couple in the school and um jackson is not a good character and uh shout out to the actor who plays him because he's not very good same with lydia lydia in this first season and like i said she kind of they changed up her character with the later seasons which i'll get to in other videos but her character in this is like so over the top mean girl you know popular girl esque isms and it's kind of overbearing watching it but you know i kind of like how they change her character in later seasons and we'll get to without those certain things 
um, in those videos. But those two characters I do not like. I like the coach, the coach of the lacrosse team. He's pretty funny. I think this this show has a lot of good side characters as well. Like the the, the uh, Styles' dad, um, like I said, Allison's dad, um, Scott's mom. I think she's a really good character as well. Um, you know, the, the veterinarian. I think all the side characters that come alongside with our main cast, they're all pretty good. They really are all pretty good characters. So yeah, overall, like I said, I really do like, I really do love this show. Um, this first season is kind of like the stepping stone. It does get pretty boring in certain aspects, but once you get to the end to the finale, I think it's really well-rounded type show. You know, it's a nice little binge. I think it's a nice little binge. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. If you guys have seen season one of Teen Wolf, if you guys seen any Teen Wolf, let me know in the comment section below whether or not you liked it, whether you didn't like it. I would love to hear your comments in the comment section below. More videos will be coming in the near future. I hope you guys are ready for that as well. If you guys enjoy physical media, watch along, trailer reaction reviews, all that type of stuff, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. And I'm honest with you guys. Peace out.